It's been quite a while, about a month, since I've watched an episode of Shameless. Obviously for YouTube, you won't know that. But it ended in a way I thought it would end, but also not at the same time. Monica's dead, so that's it, she's gone. I really was expecting her to have a bigger arc in a season, but it was still a really good episode. We ended kind of with Debs possibly having an affair with her teacher, Lip in rehab. And I guess we're just going to find out what everyone else has been up to because we are now at season eight. That's a lot of seasons for a show and a lot for the characters to go through. And I feel there's so much has to happen. You know, what about Svetlana? What happens to her? Is there going to be any new characters introduced? And just kind of what is everyone going to get up to? Is Carl going to be back this season? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Oh yeah, she has a car. Oh, this is quite a haunting shot. Carl is back, okay. Yeah, because he's used to getting up at this time. If I'm just grabbing his skull. Where are they? Because that's definitely not their house. Oh, she's opposite, okay. Oh, Mally kid? Chill. I'm turning over a new leaf. Yeah, what leaf is that? No more sex with anonymous men chosen for their abdominal fitness? Hmm. Okay. Closing my Tinder account. She got bored. Done with meaningless sexual gratification. I want... Something. Connection. Up at 0530, in the field at 0630, the warrior way. That grits? And eggs, flapjack. Damn, that's a lot of food. But then again, he's in the army and they train a lot. You have to eat a lot. That corporal now. Was this a, a new actor? Week. Who's playing oh, their brother? I that was some of your Monica meth money? Yeah. Then <laughs> saw my meth yet? Move Debbie's yesterday, next lips, then yours. Damn, he's actually selling meth. Frank went to a monastery. He became a monk. Maybe he had a complete breakdown and he needed to escape. Yeah, look at his eyes. His face. Is he drugged up? Yeah. <laughs> Does she have an animal? And then he went all mental on me and rammed the gate. Tried to beat me with a broken arm. Whoa. Call the damn cops. Oh. Hope you have a better day, Barta. Oh, you bet I will. It is interesting. Debs is so, I don't know, she's like so full of life. And then you've got the other lady who's like, yeah, please don't like, stay here forever. Oh, I don't like that Hi. fake smile. Love you. We strongly discourage parents from allowing children to ride in the front seat. Fake as they come. Why is he in the playground? New filter for the 48. She seems like a happy person. Oh, the guy who he met through Eddie. Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. She took on a bouncer at the Three Aces. That big Simone fucker? Yeah, yeah. Ended up in the hospital a couple weeks. Got you something. It's nice that he can talk to someone who understands this. Use it when you feel like a drink. Uh, it takes your mind off it. Keep yourself preoccupied. They say that about people who smoke, you know, to keep your fingers occupied and thoughts away. Anybody? He doesn't want you. He's made that pretty damn clear. You ran off with an ex-boyfriend. You disappear for days. Uh, You're banging like bunnies. I wouldn't want you back either. Yeah. I wonder how much she's done so far. That's a lot of tenants she can get from the size of it. So you the new slumlord? Uh, new owner, yeah. Oh, there's people that live in there already. 
I do a lot of things around the building. Light bulbs, clogged toilets, leaky faucets, stuff like that. The pre What do you want? Are you a handyman? Handy, but not a man. No, I'm an accountant. United Airlines. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm south side through and through. You? Immigrant from distant shores, Oak Brook. That's nice. What brings you down here to live among the great unwashed? Local okay. country club ladies weren't too pleased with my choice of dance partners. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, right, Liam. Only be a minute. But he's got to study and learn. All right, go play. Why? Right up front. Racial, economic, and cultural diversity is... Oh, uh, they're using him as the diversity hire. Hey. Oh, look who's arriving. Hey. Is the city giving you free condoms to distribute now? Hey, I'm in the happy hour at Jeffrey's after work. You busy? He's just trying really hard. Well, uh, um, what are you going to see? Don't know yet. Awkward. Lots of good movies out now. You gotta go. Hello, sir. May I have your ticket? Uh, I lost it, but I've only been here a couple minutes. Please? I'm not giving you $24. Well, then you can't lie. Please watch your language, sir. My language? You want me to get out of this truck and fuck you up? Oh, I'd love to see you try. Because if you were to get out of your truck, I would have to tase you and then super glue your mouth and eyelids shut until the police arrive. <laughs> and she could do that. It's Dev. She's ready to fight. Alongside a commitment to nurturing, loving, responsible, and healthy children in a diverse academic environment. Where is this diversity? One person of color, one black kid does not make it diverse. <laughs> is he twitching? <laughs> where did he actually go exactly? Because it didn't say where he was. Like, where did he actually go? Deny the existence of a permanent entity that remains constant behind the changing corporal or incorporeal components of a living being. All things. All is changing and no. Oh, nice use of the different camera angles there while he's talking. When he goes on a round, they, this is good. Shocker. When I was 20 years old, and she kept it until her death, and now she's gone, and I'm free. Sure, Frank. Okay. Can you take the girls out back and get some chili cheese nachos, extra cheese, and some Mountain Dew, but nobody fills? So I just walked by the alibi, and it's not called the alibi anymore. Oh. It was crowded. I peeked. Of course it would, because Fedlana is actually good at what she does. We have to go back to the lawyer. Uh, v, the lawyer said there's nothing they can do for us. Then we have to find new lawyers. Svetlana's Russian. Russians always win. But also, you signed everything over. Oh, shit. Ice! Oh. Ice, ice! The immigrants. Hi, right. can I help you? U.S. Custom and Immigration Services, everyone freeze. <laughs> Damn it. Run! Putin's paradise. Is it all Russians? Jesus, thank God. It took me a week to learn people Palusta, and I still think I'm saying it wrong. I mean, it's her place. She can do what she wants with it. Give us our bar back. We'll be trouble again. Hell no. Then no. You and big handsome Kevin husband are stupid people. At my bar. Punch him. Yeah, come on. That's it! Should we try to stop them? No. Let them fight it, because they will kick your ass. Suppose I could get something to eat at school. They have burritos at the vending machine. She's trying to do a lot. This little girl, does she need ready? changing? What is she unhappy about? Does she need feeding? He's so confused. And I'm going for drinks with friends from school after class. Here. So you're just not spending any time with him? Sure, no problem. Thanks. I still can't. Every time I, I view her, I think of Happy Death Day, and I'm just like, don't, don't, <laughs> no food. No, if you can't, you can't. Uh, I'm not mad. Is she looking for someone to look after her son? Is Tanya alright? She was supposed to sit for Lucas tomorrow night, but they changed her shift at Popeyes. Uh, 
He could do it. Oh yeah! Kev works here now. I swear each season this actor gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, he's straight. He's straight. I mean if he doesn't tell V, you know. Shouldn't should you should shower before you hop in? Like seriously, you should shower first. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see him in the corner. Nice. Alright, Gold Lame doesn't come off. You can get your face near it, but I'm not gonna get hard no matter how much you blow on it. <laughs> yeah, you can smell it if you want. He says he wouldn't get hard. I don't believe him for one second. He could easily get hard. When's the last time you did a self-exam? A what? What? Is that long? Oh! This is something new. Off to deliver more amends. My beautiful daughter, Fiona. <laughs> I am truly sorry. It's the fact that he's saying he's making amends, but isn't trying to listen to if anyone accepts his apology. He just thinks me think apologizing is the end of it. I was 20 years old and off we went down Alice's famed rabbit hole. Oh, is he only 50? 21 at most. My whole yellow oh, life spread out in front of me. So I am off to learn how to try to be a grown-up. <laughs> Could be major brain damage. Too early to tell. I mean, it was a lot of meth. A lot pricey for this neighborhood. If I don't get a taker, I can always lower it, but at 850 I'll have a few bucks left over to put back into the building. Which is good. That's what you want to do. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Come on in. Have a look around. Oh. If you have any questions, we'll take it. Really? Great. 875. They're going to start up and... <laughs> Bit up! <laughs> okay, everything's working out really well for Fiona in business, but it has been for a while now. Yes, ma'am. I have a load of illegals I need rounded up. Oh, yeah, who? Bunch of Russians. Russians aren't really a priority, ma'am. Because they're white? They're involved in human trafficking and prostitution. Load them up quick, boys. We got Russian prostitutes. Oh, so now he cares. Immigration, nobody move! What the hell is going on? That's her. She's the leader. Wait, is this how we say goodbye to Svetlana? There is a four centimeter mass in your right breast. You need to do a biopsy immediately. Okay. Oh. I'm good thinking you can raise our rent now. You have a lease. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say they have a lease. She can't do anything yet. We negotiating already? Hell yes. But a thousand, yeah, I, I, again, the whole area is changing. It's a shithole. <laughs> yeah, but she's clearly doing good with it. She's changing it. Oh, jeez. That what? guy from the other night, he sent me a dick pic. Oh my gosh, that is so nasty. <laughs> you actually left those things near you? <laughs> oh, it is the professor. In my head, I was thinking, the building, the way it looked, it was him. Say thank you. The neighbors must hate Carl now. America first, motherfuckers. To that ending. Okay, Carl. Okay. Frank smoking a pound of meth. <laughs> and then going on a, a weird apology tour trip that he's on was actually quite fun to watch because he never once waited to see if anyone accepted his apology. He just felt him saying he was sorry and making amends means everything's okay. But I also liked how things weren't the same. He's done so many bad things. 
but people have moved on or died or changed or don't live there anymore but he doesn't know this but also he blamed monica for it he was like i think you're both as bad as one another but once the high of it all wears away on him i wonder what he's gonna be like because he said he was making amends but it's frank and that usually lasts very minimal in this show but i don't know season eight is the feel of change that's how it feels things are changing as much as certain things are the same people aren't the same everyone more or less seemed to have a job and was working and was in a routine of things deb's is not going to work out with the one she's with now because she just uses him as a babysitter and then goes off she goes to work then all of a sudden she's got to go to school and then she's hanging out with her friends it's like but you still are supposed to have a fiance and a baby and you we'll see where that goes because she's flirting with that the guy with the blonde hair and of course you know it's this show she, something will happen but it was interesting with devs as well at the same time because you can see how much she's grown up which is it's fun to watch see her so mature carl of course is on his america first patriotic thing but that's not a shock he's kind of always been like that and then being in the army it's it's installed a routine into him and it works for him and it keeps him out of trouble but well, i say out of trouble he's still selling for the others and doing really well by the way he's managing to get a lot of money for them uh fiona with the building yeah doing really well the success that comes from everything and of course the people that were bidding for the apartment that it's not a shock it's actually a nice size apartment especially for only a thousand i don't know if that includes gas electricity other bills or those are all separate probably separate i imagine uh, i'm not certain but she seems to have made a new friend who lives there in the apartment and again she needs to sell it for a certain amount to make something back so that she can put it into the building but also for herself she is actually very good at business and i like that they've shown the growth that she's had over the period of time when it comes to this i feel like she's also become less jaded and cold towards everyone like the beginning of the season where she doesn't want to just sleep around she actually wants to find someone again she also seems to be getting on with everyone maybe her and lip are still a little bit at odds it's, it feels a little bit frosty from lip but everyone seems to fall into a routine which is nice to see and obviously there's lips issues that are going on with him and i think he'll get back with the uh, uh the girl the woman i can't remember her name it's been a month but yeah i interesting stories Ian trying to get Trevor back. Okay, he's trying. He's not giving up. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. I don't know. Kev having a lump. That was... That was not on my bingo card. Because apparently I have a bingo card. I didn't see that coming. I actually thought he might allow people to do stuff. Because he's like, oh, I won't get hard. And it was like, okay, Kev, sure. But, uh, okay, that's an interesting storyline. If we're going with that, if we don't... Uh, and then, did we just say goodbye to Svetlana right at the beginning? Like, right at the beginning? Um, that, that I did not, I did not see come in. I, I had a feeling she wouldn't be as prominent anymore because there isn't really a story arc for her in the show anymore. Like, I don't know where she would fit in. Uh, it's run its course. So, okay, if if this is how she goes, maybe she gets out and then... It's a, a sort of a tense goodbye. I don't know. If that was how she leaves, damn. A good, a good opening episode to kind of set the tone, maybe possibly where things are going to go. If it was in terms of the cinematography, it's a little bit darker. So maybe that's to go with the maturity. Or plus it's just because it feels like most of the time they're filming at night with what's going on right now. But we'll see where obviously things go. This is episode one. But I do think... A solid opening for a beginning to a eight season of a show.